Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to assign properties to structural geometry in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on how to customize your member end fixity using the release specification. Before we start assigning our member end fixity, let's first talk about the default member end fixity that it's going to be assigned to your members in STAD Pro. So in STAD Pro, all six degrees of freedom will be fixed by default when each structural member is modeled. So initially, all connections are considered to be moment-resistant connections. If one or more of those forces or moments cannot be transferred by a connection, the force or moment can be released at the appropriate end of the member in the model. We will now turn our attention to our sample model and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the specifications page within the workflow page control area and in the ribbon toolbar we'll also spec select the specification tab. Now when you create a member in row, all members will be considered fixed by default. Now you can use your member specification to assign specific member end conditions that best represent the behavior of your structural members. Now in order to assign your releases, you're going to assign releases for your starting and your ending end of your member. Now if you'd like more information about which is the starting end of a member and which is the ending end of the member, we can turn on our member ends, which can be accomplished by going to our Shift E hotkey. Now any member end that's indicated in green is your starting end and blue ends are considered your ending end. Now that we have our screen set up the way we want it, we're going to go to our specification tab in our ribbon toolbar and we're going to find our beam option. Now within this option, we're going to find our release command and it's going to automatically bring up your member specification dialog with the release tab selected. Now we're going to customize our releases for our steel beams in our model. Now again, they've just been modeled, so they are currently set to fixed, and we want to model them as pinned end members, as that's how we're going to be detailing them in our construction documents. So let's go ahead and start with the starting end of the members. We're going to tell the program to release it, and we're going to select our MY and our MZ checkboxes, which is basically going to release the moment about the local Y and the local Z axis of the members. Once we've entered our specification, we'll go ahead and click the Add button, and then we'll add additional specifications as needed. We want to create the same specification for our particular model for the ending end of the member. So I'm going to return to this beam option, select Release, and I'm going to enter the same exact parameters, but this time for the ending end of the member. Once we've created our specifications, we're now ready to assign them to our members in our model. I'm going to first start by selecting the specification I want to assign, and then I'm going to select the members I want to assign it to. To do that, I'm going to go to my Select tab in my ribbon toolbar and use my Group command, and I'm going to select my steel beams. Once we're done, we're going to Assign to Selected Beams, and we'll click our Assign button. Now you're going to notice once you assign a pinned end to the member, a small circle symbol will appear at the end of that member as a visual cue that that member is now pinned. We'll repeat this process for the end option. We'll assign to selected beams and we'll click the assign button. If we want to turn off our member ends again, we're again just going to hit shift E, which is going to turn off our member ends. And as we select each option, we'll be able to see the different pinned ends 